Hi, in this video we'll learn how to compare fractions with unlike denominators. Now there are a couple of ways to compare fractions. You can use the benchmark strategy. You can also find the common denominator, but in this video we're going to learn cross multiplying method to compare the fractions. Cross multiplication method is very simple. All you need to do is to multiply the denominator one fraction with the numerator of the other fraction. So what I mean by that is you multiply the bottom number of this fraction with the top number of this fraction. So the bottom number of this fraction is 5, so we're going to multiply 5 by the top number of the other fraction. So we're going to multiply 5 and 2. So 5 times 2 will give me 10, so I'll put 10 next to my numerator. Now you have to keep track of how you're multiplying. You have to make sure that you put 10 next to 2 because 2 is the numerator that you multiply. You cannot put 10 here because you did not multiply by 4. You have to put your product next to the numerator that you multiply. Now we're going to multiply the bottom number of this fraction with the top number of this fraction. So we'll multiply 3 by 4. 3 times 4 will give me 12. We have got the product. Now we're going to compare these product. We know that 12 is greater than 10, so that means this fraction 4 fifth would be greater than 2 thirds. So I'll just put the greater than sign in between. And the way we read is we read it from left to right, or we can read it from right to left. If I read it from left to right, this would be 4 fifth is greater than 2 thirds. If I want to read it from right to left, this would be 2 thirds is smaller than 4 fifths. Let's take a look at the next example. Again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to multiply the bottom number of one fraction with the top number of the other fraction. So we're going to multiply 12 by 3. 12 times 3 would be 36. So I would put 36 next to the numerator that I multiply. And then we're going to multiply the bottom number of this fraction with the top number of the other fraction. So we're going to multiply 8 by 5. 8 times 5 would be 40. So we're going to put 40 next to the numerator 5 that we multiplied. And now we can compare the products. We know that 40 is greater than 36. That means I can say that my fraction 5 twelfths is greater than 3 eighths. Or you can say that 3 eighths is smaller than 5 twelfths. Let's see the next example. We're going to multiply the bottom number of one fraction with the top number of the other fraction. So 5 times 4. 5 times 4 would give us 20. So we're going to put 20 next to the numerator that I multiplied. And you can also think it that way. The arrow is pointing towards 4. That means this 20, the product, would be uh, written on this side, not on this side. Because the arrow is pointing towards this side. That's why you're going to write the product on this side. Then we're going to multiply the denominator of this fraction with the numerator of this fraction. So 7 times 2. 7 times 2 would give me 14. We got the product. Now we're going to compare the product. We know that 14 is smaller than 20, so we can say that the fraction 2 fifths is smaller than 4 sevenths. Or 4 sevenths is greater than 2 fifths. Let's take a look at the last example. We're going to multiply the bottom number of one fraction with the top number of the other fraction. So that means we're going to multiply 8 by 18. 8 times 18 is 144. So we're going to put 144 on this side. Now we're going to multiply the bottom number of this fraction with the top number of the other fraction. So 24 times 6. That is also 144. I've got the products. We can compare the products. Now 144 is equal to 144. So we can say that these fractions are equivalent fractions. So I can say that 6 8 is equal to 18 24. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.